Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just did a video and then I was cleaning my office. I'm in my office right now because I'm about to go to my parents' house and then I found an Ipsy box and I opened it because I was curious. But it's the Icon box. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing only because why not? I do have to get on the road, so we will do this as fast as we can, but I don't know. I was excited to do an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in like two months. Easily. So let's do one together. We're going to do it quickly. I don't know when I'm going to edit this. Hopefully I will edit it quickly after the other video. I'm going to look the same. I actually ended up putting my hair up while I was picking stuff up in here, and so... I look slightly different, but mostly the same. First product I have is from Aloe, the glow system. By the way, the Icon box this time is done by Pat McGrath. Very, very, like, solid makeup, but Pat McGrath makeup is not cruelty-free, so unfortunately, I don't get to use the makeup very often. It might be cruelty-free now, but it wasn't. But Aloe Glow System Super Fruit Moisturizing Lotion. Aloe is cruelty-free, and it's Amla Arnica. Ooh, I love Arnica. I really do love Arnica. And coconut oil nourishes, hydrates, and illuminates. Let's pop it up. Pop it open. Do we think it smells like coconut? We will do a smell test and a feel test. Also, I burned my hand curling my hair. So I've been moisturizing it like crazy because I don't want it to scar. And if anyone has any tips for preventing scarring from burning your hand on your curling iron. All right, that's not going to stay up, but... Does not smell like coconut, but it smells really nice. It smells kind of nutty, like regular nut. And a little bit herbal? <laughs> not rosemary, but something else. I should maybe look at it. Avocado. Ooh. That sounds good. Shea butter, cocoa seed butter, lots of all the great butters, and cocoa seed butter, for sure. That's what I'm smelling sesame seed oil as well I don't see what the uh, it says fragrance so that's where that herbal scent is coming from but I don't know what it is you can't see it there either but you know we got we got people to see places to go Aceology here we go berry mask brightens protects and renews I have seen this before I've seen this brand before also a cruelty free brand here we glow berry mask flaunt beautifully bright bouncy skin with this radiant boosting Aceology here we glow berry mask you put it on for 30 minutes, a thick layer, layer, and you put it on for 30 minutes. This is made in Korea. We're gonna put a little bit also, because I'm assuming it's gonna be purple, purple or blue. Man, I do miss unboxings. I wanna come back. I just eat priorities, you guys. Priorities, priorities, priorities. I will prioritize this again at some point in my life. Now's just not that time, um, <laughs> but we're working on it. We'll do it here or there. It's really pretty purple color. This is a girl's night mask for sure. Also smells nice. Not as good as the lotion, but still smells really nice. Next, what do I have here? A hydrating face primer from Ace Beauty. We're not doing well at doing this quickly. My poor mother is like, when are you coming? It's already 8 p.m. and I have a four hour drive, so I should leave very soon. I am gonna leave very soon. We're gonna do this so fast. <laughs> Do you believe me? I believe me. This primer's very thick, very creamy. I don't think that's scented. Or I'm, it kind of still smells like the lotion that I had on both my hands, so I'm assuming it's not scented and that what I'm smelling is the lotion. There is some Pat McGrath stuff in here. I would not spend my money on them because I said they are not cruelty-free. Ace Beauty is also cruelty-free. Um, what else do we have in here? The quick fix for perfect wings. Ooh, I do remember this. I've had this before. This is cruelty free brand as well. I've had this before. It's, it pretends to be user friendly. Um, and you know, it's, it's better than just doing a wing. Like I was going to say cold turkey, but that's not what I mean. Like freehand. But so you see how this is like a wing stamp like that, ha, huh, right? And you do one side and then you do the other side and you think, man, it would be so simple because it's just a stamp and like, they still somehow like aren't pointed exactly the same. <laughs> I feel like I do a better job with the liner because you can't see this point. 
when you're putting it up against your eye, really. You know what I mean? So you don't see, like, one might be, like, slightly up and the other one's, like, straight on the other side. So it's really frustrating. And so I ended up not liking the stamp part, but the liner lasts, like, all day. And the other side is the liner. So I just ended up not stamping mine anymore. That's what happened the last time I used this. Your user error might not be the same as my user error, though. So it might still be, you know, ph phenomenal for you. You can see with me touching it here that it's already really, like, smudge-proof. And that's with lotion on my hand. I did kind of smudge it a tiny bit with the lotion, but it worked really well on my eyes. We have five more items, and then I get to text my mom and tell her I'm on my way. Okay. <laughs> So this next is LMR Cosmetics. I believe this was also a cruelty-free brand from the last time that I had them. I had them as brushes though, but I'm pretty sure that they were cruelty-free at that time. I'm not re-looking it up right now, so Colorette Concentrate Skincare Infused Liquid Blush. Okay, we like that. Oh, okay, so it has this little thing. I hate that. I don't know if you guys hate that and maybe you just use your makeup like so fast that it doesn't matter but I have so much makeup because I have had so many boxes and so I don't like a brush that I can't clean like I want to be able to take it off at least and clean it but because this has this liquid blush in here once you have the blush here you can't clean this and then you're putting it on your face and you're getting oils and like why isn't the blush coming out um yeah so not my favorite application, but LMR Cosmetics is usually really good. And like I said, they are cruelty free. Uh, there's an on off switch. So in case you don't want to waste as much time as I did trying to get the blush to come out, you flip it on and then, oh, I can already feel the pressure like easily letting me push. I can hear it. Can you hear that? Okay, let's try again. <laughs> let's try that again. Oh my gosh, way too much. Okay, well, there we go. Um, let's put a little bit on. Let's put a little bit on. Let's see what that looks like right there. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I put it on top of other blush, so it didn't do the best. And also, like, whoa, okay, I put too much. That's what happened. I was like, this didn't blend very well, but of course I put too much. So maybe I would, like, put it on my hand or something else, like a makeup palette, so that I'm not getting that, like I said, the applicator dirty because to me I don't know why companies do that I guess ease and convenience like I'm on the go and I'm just gonna put this in my travel bag and it's like way easier and you know uh, I don't know but I care more that I'm not clogging my pores I forgot to turn it off okay don't forget to turn it off there's an on off we're failing with that one cool idea good color um sorry if this isn't blended well I'm kind of doing it on my viewfinder right now but good color Cool idea, but like I said, has its pitfalls. And it is cruelty free. Next is Bobbi Brown. I don't think Bobbi Brown is cruelty free, but I actually don't know. So I will put it on screen after doing some research. The rest of these I'm pretty sure, um, at least from the last time I looked them up, which has, I guess, been at least two months. <gasps> this is so pretty though. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at that. What's interesting, and maybe it's like because of money, I don't know. Um, Pat McGrath chose a Huda Beauty shadow palette, which is weird, right? Because Pat McGrath's like all about shadows, but you know, whatever. Uh, it's a good palette, it's a pretty palette, it's fall colors. I don't have time to put them all on, but of course we're going to try some of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be too much. Oh, that is so cool. First of all, I am a glitter girl. Um, You're either a glitter girl or you're not a glitter girl. You're the girl who's like, this is so messy. Or you're the girl who's like, oh my god, it falls everywhere I go. I am the, oh my god, it falls everywhere I go kind of glitter girl. Um, and you know, if you're the one that it's messy, it, it is, but who cares? It's glitter. It's so pretty. So anyway, anything that like just puts glitter on, look at that, like full force is, is my cup of tea. That's my cup of tea for sure. So 
this palette will be very loved by me. There's a black color in here, but it's like cream instead of everything else looks like a powder. Oh no, this one also looks like a cream. So there's two like creamy colors, which is really weird. I'm gonna swatch them. Yeah, super crazy. So Pat McGrath, first Pat McGrath item. This is not gonna be cruelty free, like I said. I'm pretty sure it also doesn't say it on here, but I'm, I remember giving up this brand when I went cruelty free, and I feel like I would have heard if they have come back to the light side, not the dark side. And this is Dark Star Mascara with a little kind of like, this is actually my favorite kind of brush where it does that little swoosh, kind of like a little smiley face type deal. And the ends are like fluffier than the not ends. I don't need mascara right now, so we're not going to put it on. And then, see, this is interesting. A full-on Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette is in this icon box. But then also, Pat McGrath was like, you know what? I should put my own eyeshadow in there. So this has a mirror as well. I'm just trying not to flash you with my ring light. This is cute. Not as cool as the Huda one, so maybe that's why. But, like, you think you would. I'm not a huge pink fan, but these... Pat McGrath does have some of the best shadows. We wish they were cruelty free. And honestly, even if they went cruelty free, I choose usually to support brands that were always cruelty free or that was, that was part of their mission just cause like sometimes brands only go cruelty free for like, oh, now I can and it's convenient. And I'm like, it was, this was not important to you. So I do care that it was kind of important to them, but like so gorgeous. Somebody else needs to come out with formulas like this in a cruelty free situation. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think about the box. This is a quick video. I don't have a question other than what did you think what was your favorite item, something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. My first unboxing in a long, long time. And I will see you guys later.